my daily routine. Since being diagnosed with leukemia in 2001, Sharon Dennis depends on her medications. A retired engineer, she has insurance. These are my morning pills. These but one prescription three, turned her life pills, upside yeah. down. So I went to the pharmacy and gave it to the pharmacist, and they said, oh, you realize it's not covered? And I said, oh, okay. And then they came over and said that it was like $5,100 for one month's supply. And I was, wow. Her physician never mentioned the cost, and there was no way she could afford it. Part of the problem? Doctors aren't in the habit of telling patients the price of their prescriptions. The most recent national survey showed in the previous year, more than one in five Canadians said they or someone in their household didn't take their meds as prescribed, if at all, because of the cost. Just for these little pills right here. and then Dennis went four them. months without cancer medication are. while fighting to get those little golden capsules covered. Being sick, it makes you more sick. You know, you just, yeah, you can't sleep, everything. You're just worry, 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 worry. Pharmacist Mina Tadro sees it all firsthand. Patients standing at cash registers embarrassed and uncomfortable. Often, the, you know, the conversation doesn't go in the sense of, oh, I can't pay for this, I'm not filling it. It often goes a little bit like, oh, that's how much it's going to cost? Okay, well, let me think about it. And then the moment they walk out that door, I know that I'm probably not going to see them again for that specific prescription. Which may land them in a hospital bed sooner than later. And when doctors don't talk about prices, Tadru says patients are denied cheaper options. So this is a great example here, right? Because this drug is, is a combination of two drugs that are generically available. Now, the doctor may think that they're doing them a favor by giving them something that's two pills in one, but the problem is that this is not covered by all insurance plans. So what happens is... All of a sudden they have to come in, they have something that's not covered, they have to pay out of pocket, and not just that, it's three times the price. My dad had told me one time, you know, uh, life is expensive, you just have to figure out how you're going to pay for it. A self-employed massage therapist, Heidi Bauer, was diagnosed with breast cancer at 38. With no insurance, paying extra for prescriptions okay. is painful. Even with financial help, she worked while undergoing cancer treatments so her young family could afford to live. I think I wish uh, that I had, well, I know that I wish I had had more time for my body to heal the way that it was asking to heal. Uh, but I had to come back to work. Let's open the dialogue. Family physician Iris Gorfinkel wants to change the system. She says most doctors don't know the prices of drugs, leaving patients with sticker shock. That's not part of the healing process. That's not part of the transparency that we want to be offering patients. That's not part of ensuring that patients get adequate care. Dr. Gorfinkel says doctors can do better. People care about this as an issue, that it matters as an issue. She's petitioning the Ontario government for an electronic fix. When doctors enter a patient prescription, the system brings up the price they'd pay, along with other drug options. So it's really exciting. It's a small idea, but it would translate into big change. Cracking open the door on drug transparency, hoping others will follow. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto. So where do we stand when it comes to global drug prices? The short answer is right near the top. Canada has the third highest prescription drug rates in the world behind only the United States and Switzerland. That is apparently for a couple of reasons. Canadian firms spending comparatively little on research and development that can improve drugs and lower prices over time. And for decades, our prices were partly tied to those in the United States where drugs are very expensive. New government changes to fix that haven't yet had an impact.